Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm really excited about this one. But before we hop into it, I definitely want to thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time today with me. I really appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, I hope you will consider subscribing. I do a lot of room makeovers. I do a lot of cleaning, decorating, shopping, uh, lifestyle. I have a vlog channel, all of that good stuff. So definitely subscribe. If you are an angel, I love you guys. One of my lifetime loyals. Welcome back. Welcome back. This project is definitely for you. The reason why I say that is because I am finally, finally painting the trim, the pocket doors and the shelves in my living room. Now, I know a lot of you did not want me to paint the wood. Total, totally understand. I totally get it. But it's not my style. It's not my aesthetic. Now, don't get me wrong. I love wood. Like, I love wood. I just actually went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and bought a few more pieces to go on the new shelves to show y'all whenever we get to the decorating stage. I love wood, but I do not love the trim being wood because it dates the house. Now, my, ho my house is actually almost 100 years old. It's an older house. And I can't modernize it too much because it's going to look odd, if that makes sense. But I can get it up to somewhat of a modern state, if that makes sense, somewhat. So what I'm doing right now, I'm actually using liquid sandpaper. And I'm going to show you all of the products that I use. I'm going to put that in the next video. But I'm using liquid sandpaper on the wood trim or on all of the wood. And this is just another way, instead of sanding everything down, the liquid sandpaper actually sands it. It takes that high sheen off. It dulls it out. It makes the paint stick to it. So I put this on here. You, can, you should let it sit for at least 15 minutes. I let mine sit for an hour. Then I went back with some warm water, wiped off everything multiple times. Then I'm going to go in with a primer. And I'm using the Kills Primer which is an excellent primer, guys. I definitely recommend primer. What I noticed is the paint that has the primer built into it, it's still not as good as using a primer first. So I definitely recommend use a primer. So I, like I said, I use the Kills Primer and I'm going to prime everything, let that dry completely, and then I'm going to go back and start painting the, the wood. Now I do use multiple coats of paint because it is a darker wood. This is a very dark wood. So I wanna make sure that I completely cover it all the way. And this is gonna take me a couple days, but this is part one of this video. Also, you have to uh, make sure that you tape off everything. You know that you prep accordingly. My walls are gray. I am going to go back to the video where I painted the walls and find the name of the paint the gray paint because I can't remember it at the moment but my walls are gray and I want to keep them gray so I'm going to tape off the walls and you know the floors and everything and make sure everything is covered completely well covered basically I do have paint splatter and stuff that I'm going to get up but for the most part everything was taped off I am going to remove the shelves and you'll see all of that, but I'm really excited for this project. I really am. I do recommend liquid sandpaper. I've used it on several projects. It works very, very well. You can get a bottle of it from Home Depot or Lowe's for about $8. And it's gonna take a while for you to use the whole bottle, basically. So I actually have, in my house right now, I have three bottles because I'm going to be, after I get done with the living room, I'm going to do the dining room, and then I'm going to do the kitchen. So I have several bottles of it just so I didn't have to buy any more. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely super, super excited for this project. I like it. I was actually doubting myself for a moment. I don't know why, because when I have a vision, the vision sticks with me. It, it does not, it's not fleeting. It's like, okay, this is what you're trying to do. This is just, just trust the process. And when I first put the video up on Instagram, everybody was like, oh my gosh, not everybody, but a lot of people were saying, oh my gosh, why did you paint the, you know, paint that black? Oh my goodness, that's really harsh. And 
I started to doubt myself. But then again, if you paint something and you don't like it, you can always repaint it. It's just paint. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's just paint. So if I didn't like it, I could always change it. It's not it's not a big deal. I mean, it does take time, but it's not the end of the world. It's not, you know, it's not going to make everything stop. I do recommend you wear gloves with the sandpaper because it, you know, your hands will feel super dry if you don't use <laughs> if you don't use gloves. So here, if you're wondering, I've had this pot since I was eight. 18 years old guys 18 years old got that pot so yeah I just wanted to use something that you know I can put a lot of water in and keep going basically and I did empty out the water several times but you know I'm not going to show y'all all of that but yeah I'm just wiping it off and I'm gonna let that dry you want to let it dry and then I'll get to painting but I'm excited again thank y'all so much for joining me for today's video <sighs> Yes, yes, I'm finally doing it. This is a big project. It was it was funny too, also on Instagram. Y'all have to follow me on Instagram, but because I post everything there first. Someone was like, you should have paid someone to do this. And I'm, mm -mm. I had two painter companies come in and give me quotes. And for them to do this was about $2,000. I'm not paying $2,000 to do this. Now, granted, it is a lot of work. It's taken me a lot of time, but I'm not paying someone $2,000 to do this when I know I can do it myself. I can just take my time and get it done. I'm not doing that. So <laughs> just so you know, I'm not doing that. Even if I, I, you know, I got the money, I still, I'm not doing that. I feel like that's absolutely ridiculous. Now to have someone build me something or tear out something, you know, or whatever, Yes, something that I can't do, like I got my brand new basement windows installed. I got six windows installed. I can't do that. I'm going to pay someone accordingly. I cannot do that. <laughs> Things I can't do, well, I will pay. But painting, taking my time, and I, I could do that. I ain't paying you $2,000 for that. That's a no. Mm -mm. But yeah, so I'm going to tape this off and then I'm going to get to painting. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Hell, but nothing seems to work on you Yeah, you You always make me feel like I'm yeah, you You never leave my thoughts alone Yeah, you You're the reason I'm going out of my mind I just can't stop thinking about you Yeah, maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you
So as you can see, I started with the window trim first, and I love the stained glass. I love, when I think about my style, again, I love modern. I'm a very modern person. I love clean lines. I love, you know, I just, I just love modern design on some things. But then I also love glam because I love bling. I love sparkle. I love shimmer. I love all of that. But I also love rustic, and that's where the wood comes in. I love wood so and I love like black metals and things like that I love that so if I had to design my or if I had to say what my style my design style is it is modern rustic glam I don't know if that's a thing yet I'll have to look it up I'm sure it is but that is what my design aesthetic is modern rustic glam and you'll see that. And again, I am going to change a few things up here in the living room. I have brand new curtains. I have brand new pillows. Um, of course, I'm going to decorate for fall, which will all tie into the brand new curtains and stuff. And then that's going to transfer into the living room and no, the dining room and the kitchen. You'll see how I love for everything to flow. This is this is going to take a while. I know I'm not going to get this done, but the hallway, the entryway hallway, I will pay someone to do that, paint that, but I do want to paint the stairwell, you know, the banister, all of that. I thought about doing white, but I think I'm going to do black. We'll see. I'm still going back and forth on that, but I do feel like I want all of the doors in the house to be black. I just, I love that look. I, I like it. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind, um, but for right now, that's that's where I'm going with that. I don't want to make the house seem small or anything like that, but I love, I love black. And as you can see, like I have a lot of black in the house. I've always liked black. When I first got my first apartment, my base color was black. Like I love, I love black. I can't say that anymore. Um, but I'm starting with the window trim so that that can dry and I can hang my curtains back up because, you know, people are crazy. I can't say that enough. <laughs> can't say that enough. But it doesn't take long for this to dry, which I really like. And I was able to hang my curtains back up within, I did like an hour. Of course, it was still drying. But for the most part, the curtains were perfectly fine. So I'm gonna let this dry completely. And then I'll, I'll get to hanging the curtains up. And I want to say also, when you're putting on your primer or your first coat of paint, it's going to be streaky. It's not going to be a solid, full, like bright white, whatever coat. You want it to be streaky because you don't want to put on too much paint. You want to give it time to dry, to set and everything. So it is going to be streaky and that's okay because it's only the primer, it's only the first coat. So don't worry about that. Um, I did have someone ask me on Instagram too, like why did, why did you'll see the fireplace and everything. It looked kind of gray. And that's because the primer went on and then the black paint will go on. So it does kind of give it a gray hue, but that was only the first coat of black. So you have to give it time. You have to just trust the process. Just trust the process.
Honestly, I came with my girls, wanna dance by ourselves Can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin Yeah, I don't let things get to me But do you want me to spell it out for you right now? I'm not feeling your vibe Crystal clear that you're head over heels But don't come any closer, my dear Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress Come too close, I might just lose it I knock you down like boom, 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 boom that the fireplace took an extra long time guys it may not seem like it because I sped this video up a lot but it did take a long time because it has a lot of intricate detailed parts so you have to you know you got to take your time you got to like stipple it kind of blot it in to get it into the little grooves and everything it took a minute it really took a minute I was like oh my gosh this is going to take forever but <laughs> it wasn't that bad but of course it, it did take a minute so oh, I was doubting I was I was doubting not doubting myself but I was questioning myself like girl what are you doing like this is going to take a couple days and I know my projects are never quick it's not like I can just paint in one day and everything will be done that's not the way it goes for me. My product projects are never quick. So this is going to take, I have to put it in my mind that this is going to take like a week because of course I work, I'm taking the kids to their different activities. You know, I might have to run to the store and so forth. There's, you know, just stuff that you got to do. And plus you get tired. Like, oh my gosh, talking about sore. My body was sore. It's still sore. 
so you got to give your time to your body time to recoup and so forth <sighs> but yes this this is it's taking a moment and I feel like I might need one more coat on the fireplace I put one two three coats I think on there on the fireplace two or three coats I can't remember but it may need like one more we'll see but yeah so you have to give yourself time grace all of that and just be patient be patient be patient if you're wondering who I'm talking to I was talking to a yawn I'm always talking to her I talk to her like two three times a day like morning afternoon night <laughs> we're always talking it's super cute Yeah, my 
maten beo, vanya maten deo, lo, vanya maten deo. Eh, fashionably late on purpose, all eyes on you. Fashionably late. Wind up on the place, not all of the guys want you. She shut it down. Knows how to move it and checking what I'm gon' do. We make in the movie the things you and I go through. Every time we link up, it's a roller coaster when we make love. Sometimes I don't really know where I have you. Feels like someday you could flip us. She the real thing, but she go hard in like Greenland. Church girl moving like a queen pen. Eh, yeah my thing be ulo, yeah my thing be ulo, but yeah my thing be ulo, yeah my thing be ulo. She said, let me know when you're ready for me. Ready for me, ready for me. Baby, do you know if you're ready for me? Ready for me, ready for me. She said, let me know when you're ready for me. Ready for me, ready for me, yeah. Yeah, my thing, be oh no. Yeah, my thing, be oh no. Yeah, my thing, be oh no.
When I first looked at the house, the from the first time seeing the house before I bought it, I knew that I loved the house. Knew that I loved it. I loved the space. I loved the fireplaces. I loved the detail. I loved the pocket doors. I love how big the kitchen is. I love that it has two bathrooms and I can go on and on. But at first I was like, oh my gosh, the fireplace and those bookshelves would look beautiful white. That was my original thought. But, you know, as time goes on and you live in the space and you see your, what you, you know, how you like the design and what you're looking for, you know, you kind of change it up. And I said, well, I have gray walls with a white fireplace. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a little boring, you know, to me. It's like, hmm, a little boring. Black would really make this pop. Black would really, really make this pop. So I'm going to try it. And if I don't like it, then I'll just you know, change it back. Not a big deal. <laughs> I'll just paint it white. But as you can see, so you can imagine the fireplace being white, right? I feel like it just doesn't, it doesn't pop when you look in the room, but the black, wait till you see the black, it definitely pops. I really like it. I don't know. I really love it. So I'm glad that I went with black and you never know, maybe two years from now, I might paint it white or gray or who knows? I don't know. That's the beauty of paint you can change it up and also owning your own property you can do whatever you want who knows but as of right now i really like the way everything is looking i love that these shelves can just come down super easy yeah i, I just love it new from the first time i saw ya you are not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Counting down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah, e -e -e yeah. Peeled away Got me moving through time and space Your magic can be erased Can't be erased You'll find a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me Yeah, e -e 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 -e. You'll find a different side of me Like someone pretty need 
different side of me Yeah, yeah like to be a different side of me yeah every time i come around you baby girl something doesn't feel the same you said that I'm changing, but it's really you I see how you play those games Wifey type for a main man A queen can make moves, a king can't yeah, yeah. Snatch you up, now you take it Gave you bricks, now you build it yeah. Wall up, wall up Lately you and I been all love, all love I don't know what's up with our love Our love, you forgetting all about us About us, oh My Jolie, oh my Jolie Where are you? When I need you the most, you still am my age. This is murder, heart is melting, girl you got me Called your bluff and made you something, now you talking Telling me to cool it off, cool it off How can I cool it off, cool it off Telling me to cool it off, cool it off How can I cool it off, cool it off Another tip that I want to give to you all is invest in some good brushes, okay, some good rollers, because it makes the world of a difference. It really does. So I usually get my, and I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but I do like the purdy brushes and stuff that I get from Home Depot. And the reason why I keep saying Home Depot is because Home Depot is closer to me than Lowe's. If I had a preference, I would go to Lowe's first. I'm just putting that out there. But Home Depot is closer to me, so that's where I go. But definitely invest in the proper brushes and rollers. They have some for the rollers for smooth surfaces, for rougher textured surfaces. They have the foam rollers and things like that. Depending on your project, get the correct one. It makes a difference. And this, this was just so easy, guys. It took a lot, it's taken a lot of time, don't get me wrong. I'm still not completely done, but easy wise, it's just easy, put it that way. As long as you tape everything off, you take your time, you're not rushing, it's just easy to me. Maybe, I don't know. Not everyone, I don't, I'm not saying I like to paint. Y'all know I don't like to paint like this. Now, painting flowers or pictures or things like that, yes. But painting projects take a lot. I mean, it's a lot and only because like your house you gotta you gotta take everything down you know you gotta move things around to I cannot wait for my living room to go back to the way it needs to be like everything is so chaotic right now I don't like that part of it but as far as like ease it's not this isn't hard at all whatsoever you just take your time but definitely get the right brushes make sure you get the right paint I brought wood and cabinet paint because I'm painting wood cabinets and trim so definitely get what you need the first time it makes it so much easier so much better and you can get your stuff done to get it done correctly too you better turn up you better be there when I shake watch me rocking if I can't stop if I should fall just go ahead go and catch me baby
Also what I did is I painted one door at a time so I didn't try to paint both doors so once this door is dry then I'm going to push that back in and pull out the other one and paint the other one I didn't try and do both at the same time it's just too much and plus I have kids that are running around there's pets um, I didn't want anything to get stuck or you know nicked or anything like that so I just did one door at a time and then I'm going to go back and start painting the trim again with the it's called cabinet trim nope cabinet wood and trim paint and again I'm going to show you all of the products that I used that paint is really expensive I think it's like 50 something dollars a can I actually have to go get another can um, of it for the dining room so I will say that I did use the full can yes the full can for no did I oh yeah because I used I used it for London's fireplace and down here in the living room so I used the full can of it not bad I guess um, but like I said I need to go get another can for the dining room which I'll probably do um, sometime this weekend coming up but yeah I'm going to finish painting the rest of this trim then I'm going to move on to doing the first coat of actual paint on the windows. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break Now I am moving on to the windows and I'm using regular, the paint, I'm using paint, not primer, paint. And as you can see, yes, it's starting to give it that bright white coat that you want. And this is only the first coat. I'm actually, I've done two coats so far and I'm doing another coat either today or tomorrow. So that'll be three full coats. And again, the wood is dark. You know, I could have done two coats of primer and then maybe two coats of paint. You can do that. But usually people just do like one coat of primer and, you know, a couple coats of paint. So it's totally up to you, but I definitely recommend you use primer. So it does look so much brighter in the space, even with the black shelves and the black fireplace it looks so much brighter i will be bringing in some additional lighting and eventually i want to have the what is it 
Well, I'm going to have picture lights above my pictures. I'm going to bring them, lower them a little bit, as well as I think I'm going to have a lamp in the living room. It's just hard because my furniture is not up against a wall and I don't want to have any cords like, you know, going back to the wall. So I do have an idea for that, though, which I will show you. Um, but my furniture is centered in the middle of the room, which I love. I mean, I love it. I love that you can walk all around the space. It just makes it so much airier and it flows. Um, but I do want to bring in the picture lights as well as a light or a lamp in the living room to have him more light. And I'm thinking about getting cam lights put up into the ceiling. I got to look into that, research that a little bit more. Um, I know people do cam lights in the kitchen, which I do want to do that as well because I love, if you don't know or if you don't know me or know anything about me, I love light. I love light. I cannot, in my office, I like it bright. <laughs> my my best friend, when she was working next door to me, her office was always dark and dim. And I'm like, girl, how do you work in here? Oh my gosh, but she likes it dark. I'm one of those people who like it bright. Even before people were telling me to get daylight light bulbs, I liked it bright. I want all the lights turned on. I want all the light coming in. Yes, all of it. Um, so it does look so much brighter, so much airier. And I was nervous about having like my curtains open, my windows open, because again, people are a little cuckoo. Um, but usually I do like to have everything bright and airy and open. I'm, I haven't forgotten about getting the, um, the blinds, which I will get as well. I'm just trying to decide. I'm still trying to decide on that. Anywho, yeah, look at that. You can tell it's starting to, it's just starting to pop. It's just starting to pop. I love it. Love, love, love it. And I'm going to have my wood elements in there. I just love wood too. I do. I love wood. So anyway, let's get back to painting. Oh my gosh. I just love it. circles for so long I never really understood what I did wrong I'm trying hard to find a place where I belong I lived an empty life but I had to carry on I guess I really was giving up on love and I tried to block those feelings off in a middle of sex and it all came back when I thought that everything was lost On a cold November night When I met my missus right When my feelings come to life again When I thought I didn't care I just saw her standing near When my feelings come to life again Now I wake up every morning next to her to pinch myself to prove that she's my girl. my girl There's no place I'd rather be here in this world Cause I have no doubt and I know she is the one I guess I really was giving up on love And I tried to block those feelings off In the middle of sex Then it all came back When I thought that everything was lost on a cold November night I met my missus right My feelings come to life again And I thought I didn't care I just saw her standing near And my feelings come to life again She's my missus right My one and only one 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 Up on love, and I tried to block those feelings off. What else can I do? In the middle of sex, Ooh. and it all came back, came back when I me. thought that everything was lost. 